It is another very busy week for Notre Dame Athletics, and here to wrap up our show with a look ahead are your hosts, Jack Swarbrick, Rachel Nasland, and James Onwalu. Well, before we look ahead, let's look back for a second because we had a different opening segment this week. How was Thanksgiving? Oh, it was great. Um, got to go home for a little bit. Got to make it up to the game. Um, it was nice. It was nice to see the family. Yeah, we just did a little something here before we headed out west, and we were over at the Morris, which was very nice. Yeah, nice you had a big meal. feast, I understand. Oh, it was a feast. I think like seven oh. different meats, which is unheard of. I usually just do turkey, but <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed. I did some... Splurged. Yeah, I splurged, and then I slept on the plane, so <laughs> it worked out for me. Turkey coma. A little movie and sleep. So well, well good. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad you both had a good Thanksgiving. I was also out west by that time, and yeah. we, we had a great time out there. So turkey trotting. Well, I did. We did. Uh, the Swarbrick family did a turkey trot at Dana Point. And, I would have uh, loved to see that. No, you wouldn't have. It was ugly. For, Do you wear the short shorts like runners? No, just because I'm an old guy. <laughs> 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 you think I wear the really short shorts? No, I. Well, you know, I wear the Under Armour issue there you go. everything Worse. every piece there you go. um a lot of great things going on now unfortunately uh men's soccer season came to an end uh this past week and that's the nature of the ncaa tournament it's 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 always one goal experiences and go yeah. either way it was tied 1-1 late in the second half and uh Louisville scored on a corner kick, and then at the last second there was another goal. So a very successful season for men's soccer comes to an end a little earlier than they wanted, just like women's. But a lot of a lot of good stuff going on with the sports that are continuing. Men's swimming is now ranked ninth in the country. Wow. Uh-huh. Uh, remarkable uh, progress there. Women's swimming 9-0, and ranked 22nd. So both those programs are doing great. And, of course, two undefeated basketball uh, programs, um, are both playing so well. Uh, the women are playing tonight, so we can't yet report on that game. But a match with UConn is coming up at Purcell Pavilion next week, and uh, we'll look for everybody at that one. That'll be uh, yeah. full house. One, one versus two will be an awful lot of fun. And the men continue to be on a roll. Uh, most recently, a great win over over Iowa. Um, they've got North Carolina A&T coming up, an IPFW team that beat Indiana University in a great upset earlier this year. Mm-hmm. But then the big one next Saturday, Villanova in Newark. Uh, be a great a big, great crowd for both teams, and uh, Villanova very well be ranked number one then. So two, two basketball programs having great success with very big games ahead of them. Thanks to both of you. Uh, for being here again this week, and we look forward to seeing you next week. Yeah, absolutely. Happy to be back. That's good. Go Irish. Go Go Irish. Irish.